believe here at Crossroads is that our people are often more valuable than our money. Providing hands-on relief work, Darren Kroger was one of two Crossroads members who spent a week in Houston helping homeowners clear out and clean up their flood-damaged homes. Imagine your, your kitchen counter and everything below it being wet. Um, carpet, TVs, stereo, anything that's sitting you know, on the floor is, is weeping water up and is, is ruined. Kroger, a certified disaster responder, says this type of work is a way of giving people hope during one of the most devastating moments in their lives. You we're just really here to help you um, and to show you some love from Cincinnati, uh, from a church that you'll probably never see firsthand. Um, but we're just people that, that uh, want to help you out in any way that we can. One of the ways Crossroads wants to expand is its outreach in times of disaster. Crossroads says raising money always helps, but the church wants a more personal connection to truly make a difference. Our money is an expression of people's hearts around here that they what they want to do and how they want us to respond. But what we believe is that when we can be the hands and feet of Christ and we can actually mobilize our people, which is our greatest asset, then that's when things really tangibly change. That tangible change starts this weekend when more than 100 people will train at Crossroads West Side to become certified disaster responders. My goal and my heart is that we have thousands of people in our community that we're going to be calling reservists that at any moment, whether it's a disaster locally or domestically, we can send out an email and they're mobilized. Saturday's disaster training is fully booked, but because there has been so much interest, Crossroads says it's already working on planning another training session sometime later this year. Reporting live at Paul Brown Stadium, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.